Um, that's right. So in terms of transparency, when we think about that, what are the benefits of running your own landing page, building it yourself rather than kind of outsourcing that to someone else? Yeah, sure. I mean, when you, so this is like an example landing page that we build in the system. So you literally uh, hold it in the same, you know, we host the domain, it's all built in Datable um, and the data just sort of flows straight into the system along with the tracking alongside it. Um, so when you actually go through and fill all the details out, number one, you're controlling everyone that has access to this page. So you generate um, unique links that you send out to each source that generates traffic. So that could be Facebook, it could be individual affiliates, it could be um, anywhere really. I mean, influencers, you could send it, you know, wherever you want them to go. Um, so if I fill all my details out here, uh, all the validations built into the form um, and go to get the quote, that lead actually, um, you can see that it's uh, got a load of front end validation on it. But then when it's received into the system, we then run additional stuff um, outside of whatever the, the front end form is doing. We can track the exact source, the exact link um, where it's been driven to. All the rule groups and deduplication and condition sets and everything else that we apply in suppression files all applies um, to the data without any pixels firing. So we basically can control the entire back end. And the individual lead itself, um, which will be this one, I can now see the exact source it came from, what the consented marketing channels were, it drags through the uh, terms and conditions that the user signed up to. So if you have a um, subject access request, for example, you can just download all this information as a, um, a PDF and send it off to the person who's been asking for it. We get the full time and date stamp. Um, we get all the data they filled in and everything else. But then we actually have the metadata that includes the referrer, which isn't um, going to be around forever. But then you can use this for additional um, qualification of the lead. So we can now see exactly the URL, who sent it. We control the entire questions on there. We can decide whether pixels fire or anything else, control all the validations and the entire journey. So what you're really doing is creating a, um, a sort of walled garden approach mm -hmm. um, to the lead generation by not only controlling the physical data that's coming in, but you're actually controlling the relationship with the visitor onto the page and then all the subsequent interactions afterwards. And it just removes um, everyone out of the loop of that personal data if it's coming to you anyway that you can just provide to um, any lead generator if you're an advertiser, for example.